Kugan Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're at the undercard press conference for Degal Eubank this Saturday night from the O2, fighting on the undercard, Ricky Summers, who takes on Andre Sterling. How are you, Ricky? Great, mate. Good. Yeah? How's yourself, Kugel? Right? I'm all good. I'm all good. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, how do you kind of see this fight with Andre Sterling? How do you rate him? How much of him have you seen? I've seen bits of him. He looks good. But I just think it's a bit of the experience on the night with myself after being there and boxing on these big shows and, and stuff. I just think I'll, I'll be a bit too much for him. And I can see uh, me breaking him up and stopping him late on. Obviously, um, he's still undefeated in his career. I suppose the best fighter on his record would be, what, Garvey? Kurt Garvey, Kurt yeah. Kurt Garvey. So, yeah, uh, relatively kind of untested. Yeah, he is. And I think, you know, looking into his record, he struggled with um, journeyman, Adam Jones, who was a middleweight. You know, really won by a point where he could have gone either way. Um, beat Kurt Garvey by a couple of rounds, but... You know, Kurt Garvey was a good amateur. I don't know what he's doing as a pro. You know, he's uh, he's lost to a journeyman, Kurt Garvey. So he can't really take much from that win. You know what I mean? What's kind of the goal for you this year? Obviously, this is an eliminator for the British title, um, which is being contested next month between yeah. Boatsy and Conroy. Is that kind of... That's what I want. You want, yeah. That's my, that, that's my goal. Um, you know, I come up short last time. In a close fight where nobody knew of me, um, with, with Frank. But I just think what lost me that fight was the experience and stuff. I feel I'm a better fighter now and I want to be pushing back up for that British. You were obviously at one point being linked with a fight with Anthony Yard. Has, has that ever been yeah. revisited since then? Yeah, there's been a few offers. We got offered the fight um, about the same day as this and I can't. I said yeah to it, but then we had nothing of it. So, you know, Mark, Mark, Mark Reed, I'll base myself around Anthony Yard. He's doing his thing. You know, I've got to do what's right for me. And my goal is to fight for that British and win that British. So that's the route we're going down. He's looking, at, he's looking at world titles and stuff. Mm. I want to do it gradually, British, then hopefully European. And, you know, if my goal is the British, his goal is the world title. So, you know, we've got two different goals. So you were... When you say you were offered, were there talks or were you yeah, actually there, made an offer? Or? Yeah, there was talk. My manager rung me up. He says, oh, we've, we've been offered the yard fight. I was interested in that fight. But in the meantime, the board mandated me and Sterling. So we was keeping our options open. Yeah. And, like, you know, it, it's just come to Sterling now. They, the board mandated me and Sterling for a British eliminator. Yeah. So we've, we've come down that route. OK. Well, like I said, you've got a, a job to do this weekend yeah. before you can kind of think of anything past then so yeah my, my mind's fully on Andre um, on Saturday so got to get past him first and then hopefully move on to the the, the big boys what's your pick for Degale Newbank you know what Kin Swain first of all I says Degale then Newbanks it's, it's an odd one I don't normally sit on the fence but if if Degale's got a little bit left I think Degale and Nicky on points not long to find out. Not long, mate. That's that's one fight I'll be looking forward to after my fight. You know, I can sit back and uh, watch that and enjoy it. Uh, Mr. Summers, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV and we'll definitely catch up with you again this week at some point. So yeah. best of luck on Saturday. Cheers, Coog. All right, top man. Yeah.